Hello everyone. I'm going to show you how to change the pool to any value you want. Um, and we're going to use, and I'm just going to uh, go step by step and just follow um, my directions on, on how to achieve this. Now, I'm not going to teach you how to um, operate any of these programs. I recommend that if you want to, you can research how to use uh, this program uh, online uh, with tutorials. So. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go download the program called Cheat Engine. It's at cheatengine.org. You can go to the download section and you can download either the Windows version or you can download the Mac version. Once you download it, install the program. You can once you start up Cheat Engine, it's going to look like this. Now make sure that you have Ascension up and running in windowed mode. How you get it into windowed mode is you just go into options and deselect the full screen. Now, uh, once you have Cheat Engine running, select this icon over here. This is going to load up and you can select Ascension from here. And once you've selected it, it's going to link a Cheat Engine to Ascension and now be able to control it. So what we're going to do is we're going to scan for a value of 60 and uh, we're going to do scans and once uh, what hap how, how this generally works is you're going to do a first scan and then you're going to scan for 60 say then once the value changes in ascension say down to 59 you're going to come back here and you're going to type in 59 and you're going to do a next scan so uh, and you're going to do this until we have only a couple uh, results in this window here once we have those very few results then we can uh, change the value of, of those so uh, just go step by step um, and follow what i do here so first thing we're going to do is make sure ascension is running as i say we're going to start up a game so we have 60 in the pool We'll just wait, uh, okay, so we got 60 in the pool at the time. We're going to type 60 in this box. Make sure that the scan type is exact value and the value type is four bytes. Now we're gonna do a first scan. We've got 18,168 results. So now we're gonna go back into Ascension and we're going to wait until the pool uh, changes to a new result. Okay, so it is now down to 59. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna change this to 59. Now do next scan. Don't do new scan or you'll be starting all over. So do next scan. Now we're down to 264 results. Let's go back into the program. I'll change this to 50, it's now 58 in the pool. So we'll go in here, type in 58, go next scan again. Now we're down to two values. It usually takes about three scans to get to where you need to, to be. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check to see which one uh, is going to change this variable here, change the pool. So I right click, change value of selected address, and I'll just change it to one for now, see if it changes it, and it does. So this one changes the value of the uh, pool. So this address, memory address in here and the value changes all the time it uh, when, when you reload uh, ascension um, on another time this address is going to change so we can't use this value and we can't just do it from here what i want to do is create a permanent cheat uh, and put it in this area here that you can just select the box and select the value that you want start the game and and go so how we do that is we need to find out the address that writes to. So I right click on here, find out what writes to this address. Just hit yes here. Now it opens up this window. This window is constantly scanning, waiting for this value to be changed. So we want to change the value when the game starts. So how do we do that? Well, we've got to make the game start. So let's get out of here. And then let's create game. Now, as soon as the game loads up, it's going to put uh, these values in here. So one of these is uh, basically what the sender to send this variable to this memory location. Uh, so the one that we're looking to change 
is this here. Now what this is, is this is the line code in assembly language that uh, tells the pool to go to 60. So we're going to want to change that. How we do that is we make sure we select this particular line here, show disassembler over here. Now it's going to pop this window up. This is the all the assembly code in uh, that's running in the program at this moment. So this is the line that we're concerned about changing. So what we have to do is make sure this is highlighted in blue and you'll see that this command is exactly the same as this here. So we've just inserted ourselves into here. So our next step is make sure this is highlighted blue, go to tools, go down to auto assemble, go to template, and then go AOB injection. And then just go OK on these two. We're just injecting ourselves into the code, into the line, so we can edit it. So now this is the instructions here. So this value here, how, what this means is it's going to, this is in assembly code, it's going to move the value here, the register here, is, the register is ECX, and there's right, right now there's 60 inside that register. It's moving it into here which is, I believe, a memory address. So what we want to do is just select this, and you can change it to any value um, you want, really. But I'm going to note that this is a hexadecimal value that you're going to put in here. So um, I'll show you how to uh, convert hexadecimal. Um, what I do is I just go to my Windows calculator. I'll find it here. There's the calculator. We're going to bring this up. Now, go to up here and select Programmer for your calculator. And it's going to bring bring this up here. Now, if you select decimal, you can type in a decimal number. So in, in our case, the decimal number is what we were going to have in the pool. But the hexadecimal number is what we need to add to the program uh, because it is in hexadecimal. So say we want to change it to 140. So we, this is 140 decimal. 140 decimal is equal to 8C hexadecimal. So in here, we can type 8C. Now what you do here is um, at the bottom of the screen, there is a button. I can't see it in here because I guess my resolution or something. There's a, there'll be a button down here that says execute. Don't do that. Go to file, assign to current cheat table. So now the script that we've written in here and changed has been assigned here that we can select. Double click on here to rename it. And uh, we said it was 160, right? So 160 on our pool. Now it's renamed to 160 on our pool. Now if we select this box and we go into the game, we'll exit. When we create a game, it will start at 160, or 140, sorry. Did I get that right all in here? Yeah, 140, sorry. Yes. I, I, for some reason, I thought it was 160. So now you see the pool has changed to 140. The Obviously, the AI had played around and put it to 139. But um, that's how you create scripts. Now, easy enough, so that's, here, let me change this back because this is incorrect. I'm going to put that to 140, which is the actual correct. Um, for that. So um, again, uh, you can, if you want to do a pool where it is 160, so it is in decimal right now, 160 is actually in hexadecimal, whoops, 160 in hexadecimal is A0. So if we go in here, we put A0, again go up to file, assign the current cheat table, and there you go. So we're going to name this actually now 160 Honor Pool. So now if we select 160 Honor Pool, go into our game, exit out of here, start a new game. Now we're at 160. So you can change that to any value you want, just like that. And now you have two scripts in here. You can put as many as you want, go in here, alter this, put it, uh, do a file, assign to the cheat table, and make as many as you want in here. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is go File, Save As, 
and we'll call this uh, our cheats. Save it. Now, the next time you load up Cheat Engine anytime, you can just go File, Load, Load Up Our Cheats, and this will come up like this. And then you can have this program running at every time. All you got to do is select the box you want to do, and then uh, start your game, and you've got the value. One last thing to note here is in online, this can be done, but the player on the other side also must be running the Cheat Engine. If you were to start your game with 160 with the, with the uh, cheat here, and you played online with somebody, you're gonna have 160 in your pool, but he's only gonna have 60. So when his game is over, that's done. So you can only do this if both parties are participating with Cheat Engine. Uh, hope this will help um, and uh, have fun playing Ascension with the honor pool that you desire.